Hi, my name's David. Today I'm going to show you how to install a battery temper temperature sensor on the Valmar ARS-5 voltage regulator. Okay, this is the this is the Balmar uh, regulator that I have, the RS-5, and on page four of my manual, it may be different on yours, but on page four, it uh, shows you, uh, it gives you a little bit of instruction on installing the battery temperature sensor. It's an extra, it's an optional item, so it's not included in the voltage regulator. You have to buy it separately. It's 40 plus dollars. And what you get when you buy it is uh, this is the cable. This will attach to your negative terminal on one of your house batteries. And then these will connect to the uh, voltage regulator. We'll show you how to do this here. It's very easy. First step is to establish which battery, we have two house batteries, which battery you want to install it on. I'm gonna install it on our starboard battery because that negative terminal is a little bit farther from the engine and I don't want the heat of the engine to throw off the, um, the temperature sensor. So if we did it in the port battery, it's right next to the engine. So by doing it on the starboard battery, um, we will have that negative terminal be a little bit farther from the engine. Should give us a more accurate reading. This is the negative terminal on our starboard battery. So we're gonna remove that nut and put that uh, connector underneath that nut and then retighten it. Before you proceed with this next step, make sure that your battery charger is turned off completely. And also remove any jewelry, any rings or watches that you're wearing. You don't want to accidentally um, create a short and uh, have sparks flying. Okay, we've now got that temperature sensor lug fastened to the negative terminal. So now we're gonna route the wire to our voltage regulator. In my case, it's over on the port side of the engine. Tighten that up well. Uh, these are Rolls batteries and they tell me to tighten them to 18 foot-pounds. So that's what I've done. Uh, check your battery manufacturer for what their torque specifications are. Your manual, uh, in my case it's on page four, gives you detailed instructions on connecting the positive and negative lead on that cable. So they point out that the positive goes to the five terminal and the negative goes to the six terminal. And then if we look at the um, voltage regulator, I'll show you here. Okay, you can see that's the, uh, I think it was five. <laughs> The positive and then the six is the negative so we're going to connect those two leads um, to those terminals they're just push on connectors okay these are the connectors here you can see the red is positive the black is negative so just connect those to the corresponding terminal on your voltage regulator okay in my case there's a lot of excess cable so just coil it up if that's the case and secure it with some wire ties the last thing to do is just to, um, along the, the route of the cable, fasten it, tie things up with wire ties so you don't have wires hanging all over the place or the cable hanging loose. Just fasten it with wire ties. Those connectors, you gotta push on with a, a good deal of force. They're pretty tight, um, but uh, they will go on, push them on all the way in and then like we did on the other side, secure the cable with wire ties so it's, it's nice and neat. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is program this and we'll explain how we do that. Lastly, the default settings for the battery temperature sensor vary depending upon the type of battery that you have. For example, for flooded deep cycle batteries, which is what we have, the default setting increases the voltage by five millivolts for every degree below 77 degrees and decreases it by five millivolts for every degree above 77 degrees. It, these, per, these default settings will vary depending upon your type of battery. So you've got to find out what type of battery you have 
and find out what the default settings are. Contact Valmar. Um, look at pages 10 and 11 of your manual under advanced programming of what they call the slope voltage correction. That's what you're going to be adjusting if you don't want to use the default settings for your particular battery type. That's it. Good luck and have fun.